Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites. No flops today because nothing sucked this week. All good things. So um, anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I have had a good week myself. Um, it was kind of a nice week because Stella was at art camp through most of like the day. Um, and so I didn't have to listen to Mom, I'm Bored <laughs> for a few days this week. Glorious, glorious. How many of your kids are already at the board stage of summer? We're there. We were there like after the first week of summer break. And I was like, kid, you have friends. Why don't you go play with your friends? What are you doing talking to me? Go spend time with your friends. They're all outside. They're all playing. You should not be bored. Anyway, it's fine. Um, I think what we're going to do this weekend is Stella and I need to figure out a system to catalog and store uh, all of the art that she has made over the last week and quite frankly, all of the art that she makes all of the time. Uh, my daughter is incredibly creative and um, it's a little difficult when you have a super creative child that really likes to produce uh, a lot of art <laughs> because you can't keep everything. I know someone out there will be like, you're a terrible mother, but you, ca you can't keep everything. If you are that type of person, what does your house look like? <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. Show me your house because like if I kept everything that Stella has ever created, like it would be coming out of my ears. Like we don't have enough room in this house. So we, uh, I've talked to Stella about this before and she agrees. She's like, yeah, some of the stuff I make is garbage, but I just feel like I can't throw it away because I made it. So we're working through that. Um, so if you have a system for cataloging or organizing your children's best art pieces, will you let me know down below in the comments what you use? Right now, I just have a bit like a big bin that everything goes in, but I feel like that's not necessarily the best way because like if she's looking for something, she has to like dig through the entire thing and oftentimes she'll just dump it out and then everything gets jumbled up and then she gets frustrated with that. Like I feel like we need a better system. So I'd like to maybe think about that with her this weekend. So that's what I'm doing. Sounds like fun, right? <laughs> I love how creative my kid is and um, it just like it warms my heart because I am a super creative person myself so Craig has no creativity God love him uh, he's not a creative person but I'm like super creative so girlfriend got it for me and I think it's great she has a wonderful imagination and just lives her best life doing everything from digital art to painting to watercolors to I mean she still uses crayons whatever she can get her hands on she will she will go into my recycling bin and she will take out cardboard and start creating like stuff it's it's amazing um I love creativity and kids anyway that's that's a lot of talk about Stella let's talk about things that I love this week um be sure to check the description box down below I'm gonna link everything um that I share with you guys today. So check that out. Okay, so we are gonna start with my perfume pick of the week. And I kind of have two here that I'm gonna share. They're both from Dossier. If you are new here, I've been a Dossier ambassador for a number of years now. It's probably been close to two years even maybe. And I need to look back through, but anyway, I have loved their fragrances for quite some time. The Dossier fragrances are fantastic because they are dupes of higher end um, perfumes. So I have one here that is a dupe of a Tom Ford and then there is a dupe of a Maison Margiela. Um, quite honestly, I don't remember which is which and they both smell very similar. But that's why I was rocking these fragrances this week because these are the most delicious, wonderful, beachy, aquatic, summer suntan like coconut vibe fragrances that I have in my collection these are both gorgeous so we have the aquatic coconut the notes in here are bergamot pink pepper lemon and aquatic accord your middle notes are yang ylang uh, heliotrope flower and coconut and then the base notes are musks cedarwood benzoin and tonka bean I believe the aquatic coconut is the soleil blanc from um, Tom Ford I believe 
And I think Floriental Coconut is Maison Margiela by the beach. Or is it Beach Walk? <laughs> Doing a really bad job of this today. Um, I will link them both out. I'll clarify in the description box down below. So the top notes on the Floriental Coconut are cardamom, pistachio, and bergamot. Your mid notes are ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine. Your base notes are cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. So they definitely share a number of um, fragrance notes. I'm going to do the Floriental Coconut over here and the Aquatic Coconut over here. By the way, guys, the lasting power of both of these, just fabulous. Really, the thing that I think sets them apart the most is the fact that there is the, it's the heliotrope flower in this one that gives it like that slight floral touch. But this, I wouldn't consider this a floral fragrance at all, the Aquatic Coconut. It's very much like, it's just summer. Both of these, you guys, are summer in a bottle and they are way more affordable than the originals. Um, big, big fan of the Dossier fragrances. The Lasting Power, I think, is fantastic. The vast majority of fragrances that I've tried smell very, very similar to the real thing. Um, there's a few that smell a little bit different, but they're so similar that Depending on your body chemistry, they, they may end up smelling exactly the same on you. But the company is great. If you ever receive something that isn't to your liking, you can totally exchange it. You can return it. Like they have a really great return policy. Every order that you get comes in this neat little box with a little card. I don't have the cards for these two. I tossed them a long time ago. But you get this really neat little card that like explains the concentration of the fragrance. It gives you the notes again, tells you uh, about the return policy. I just really love these fragrances and the fact that they are all under $50 is fantastic. Again, the lasting power, very, very similar to sometimes better than some of like my high-end fragrances. I have a lot of perfumes from companies like YSL, Givenchy, I've got some Gucci fragrances, got some Dior fragrances. They're all fantastic, but sometimes the lasting power on those isn't all that great. Some of these fragrances from Dossier do a little bit better. So um, if there is ever a like high-end fragrance that you are super interested in and you want to save a little bit of money and it's available at Dossier, I would definitely recommend picking it up there first, seeing if it's a spot on dupe for you. And that way you're going to save a heck of a lot of money. So anyway, um, I will put the information from Dossier in the description box down below. Check them out. Um, next. So Craig and I stopped by Trader Joe's because we went to dinner one night and on the way home, we we're like, we kind of want dessert. Trader Joe's is an awesome place to pick up just a random dessert. I got macarons and Craig got the Trader Joe's ice cream sandwiches that have the little um, chocolate chips like around the outside of the, have you ever had those? Oh, they're so good. <laughs> anyway, I also finally found this. This came out, I think it was last summer for the first time. This is the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. This is made with acai and guarana extracts. And the fragrance here is a delightful, de words, delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent. You know what this is a dupe for? And I'm not saying this uh, as like, oh, I discovered this. Uh, people were talking about this last summer. It smells so much like the Brazilian <laughs> Boom Boom Cream fragrance. Um, if you don't want to spend close to 50 bucks on the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, I would get this. Now, the texture is very different from the Boom Boom Cream, but I love the texture of these Trader Joe's body butters. I love the coconut one as well. If you've never tried the coconut, the original, oh, so delicious. Like, you will, you will smell like coconut frosting. Delicious, actual gourmand coconut frosting. So good. And this smells amazing, you guys. This is slightly different from the Boom Boom scent. There is, I feel like, a brighter, like, maybe citrus note or something that's in here as well. But it's super, super close, and it's way cheaper. I love how hydrating these are. Um, the texture is kind of interesting. It's almost like a thicker lotion with a slight gel texture. To, it's very strange. Um, I feel like you have to use it to know what I'm talking about. 
but I love the texture of it. It tends to absorb somewhat quickly after getting out of the shower, which is nice. So I feel like I can put on leggings if I want to after using this. Um, but I've just been wearing a bunch of like summer dresses. Do you guys look, I wore earrings for you today. Dingling. <laughs> I am, I am having fancy lady summer. Does anybody else want to join me? I just basically dress up every day for, for no reason. None at all. I just dress up <laughs> and then do things like drop stuff off at Goodwill and run to the bank. <laughs> anyway, pick this. It's like $5.99. Get it. It's so good. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, get it. Delicious. Um, let's talk hair. So on Monday, I did a, was it Monday or Tuesday? I don't know. It was one of the days. Um, I did a gray hair motivation series video and I talked to you guys about my experience with the Goldilocks products told you I wanted to do just a little bit more of a deep dive. Um, so I did that on Monday. This is the ultra hydrating leave-in conditioner. I am like probably down to here already with this. I love this. I'm telling you right now, if you want to try anything from Goldilocks, even if you don't have extensions, this, this line was designed specifically for people with extensions so they could you know, clean their hair and scalp properly without damaging the extensions. But it's just a really great hydrating line that does a good job of hydrating without weighing the hair down. Doesn't leave it feeling greasy or anything after. But this is fabulous. So hydrating and smoothing for my hair, but doesn't weigh it down. I really, really love this. A lot. Big fan. And I've been using this mousse this week, and I really like this mousse. I've never used this before, but this is from... I believe this is actually from the Paul Mitchell line, if I remember correctly. I think it is. But it is the NeuroStyle Lift Heat Control Volume Foam. I'm pretty sure this is under, yep, Paul Mitchell. John Paul Mitchell Systems. So anyway, um, Paul Mitchell is cruelty free, which is awesome. I've never tried this line from them. I've heard good things. So I figured I'd start with the mousse because your 90s girl still loves her some mousse. This gives my hair um, like light volume, but a really nice like everyday volume. And I like how it makes my hair shiny. It doesn't leave it feeling crusty. It's not, it doesn't feel sticky or like it's coated with something. Um, I really like this. If you've never tried it, definitely worth checking out. Um, and it's Paul Mitchell. And that hair care line has been around forever. I remember being in middle school and like begging my mom for Paul Mitchell products and she was like, no, we can't afford that. But you can have whatever fragrance of suave that you want. <laughs> yeah. it's always fun. I usually picked the strawberry. I feel like the strawberry was my favorite suave, followed very closely by the green apple. The green apple was quite delicious too, so. So a swap was great hair care. I mean, you know, I was in middle school. I was dyeing my hair all sorts of weird colors. So it was, my hair was a mess. It's fine. I got over it. <laughs> all right, let's do um, another body care product here. I wanted to update you guys on the Paula's Choice 5% Niacinamide Body Serum. Mm, I think this is one of those new holy grails for me from Paula's Choice. Uh, this is fabulous. This has panthenol in it and um, obviously niacinamide as well. I love niacinamide for my face. I didn't think I necessarily needed it for my body, but let me tell you, this is really refining the look of the skin on my arms here. I always talk about how I'm prone to eczema on my upper arms, and the thing that's frustrating about that is oftentimes after I get done with a flare-up, I'm left with like some darkness on the skin for a little while, and it usually takes quite some time for that to like fade, and this really seems to like improve the appearance of that arm skin very quickly. Like within a couple days, I was like, whoa, this looks so much better than it has in a long time. And I am very careful about what I use on this area. And I always try to buy like the best products that I can, um, things that are non-irritating, unfragranced. This, this is fantastic. If you deal with the same thing, it might be worth checking out. But I think there's also um, yeah, I think it's just a great body moisturizer to begin with, so worth a try. Um, I have had one nail painted this whole week. I feel like I should have probably explained that. So I was going to paint my fingernails and continue the whole like fancy lady transformation. Um, 
But then I painted one nail and I was like, oh yeah, this is the part that sucks. Now I can't do anything for like 20 or 30 minutes. And that's just not me. I can't, I can't not do that. But I did paint my toenails with this color. I love the Nailtopia polishes. If you've never tried them, these are fabulous. I think the quality is amazing. Now I am not a nail polish connoisseur, but this formula stays friggin' put. Like you put it on your nails. I use their brace coat and their top coat as well. It just stays put. This color is gorgeous for the summer. It's called I'm in space. My okay, look, I'm not an idiot, I promise. There's like numbers stamped over the name. I have to look it up. Sky Sky Need Space. Sky Need Space. Does that sound right? I'll put it in the description box. Anyway, moral of the story is it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. This looks fantastic on my toenails. I'm not going to show you my feet because that's weird. Um, but that polish stays put on my toenails with the base coat, with the top coat, no chipping at all for like three weeks. Like my nails literally grow out and look, you know, like when your nails grow out and your polish is like growing out, <laughs> just looks weird, right? Um, yeah, that's how well it stays put. Not... Not a single chip, nothing. Fabulous. Try the Nailtopia. You will love it. Um, oh, look what I got out again. So this is a tiny one. Um, if you are new here, you do not know about my love yet of the Strivectin uh, Hyaluronic Tripeptide Gel Cream for Eyes. Uh, it's been a while since I had one of these, but this is my holy grail favorite ever eye cream. I bought a a little set at Costco last year <laughs> and I've been dying to bust it out but I was like I should finish some of my other eye creams first but anyway this is the best eye cream I have ever used in my life it is a gel cream so it absorbs very quickly but it's super moisturizing it never creases I use it morning and night it is so soothing so hydrating it just plumps this whole under eye area like in the best possible way I know you don't need an eye cream, but I love eye creams and I will use them until I don't feel like using them anymore. They're, they're great. I think eye creams are wonderful. But if you do have a really well formulated moisturizer, you can just take that underneath your eyes. But if you start getting milia or anything like that, you might want to reevaluate. It might be a little bit too rich. Love the texture of this one, especially during the summer when you don't want a heavier eye cream for underneath the eyes. That one is fabulous. Well worth it. Check out Costco. They may still have it, um, but you can also find Strybectin at other places. I'll link it at a couple places down below. Um, I've been using some bronzer, and I busted out uh, everyone's favorite, the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula, right? This guy right here. Perfect color for me because I'm so pasty, but this is just the bronzer. I think this comes in different colors. I feel like it does. I think this is one of the lighter ones and it has kind of a cooler, like slightly cool, slightly reddish tone to it. Just looks very natural and um, I like that little bit of like a glow um, that it gives. Like it's, well, I would call this like a very, very satin matte finish. Um, it's just pretty on the skin. It looks very, very pretty. I love that. And it smells really good. <laughs> My, uh, uh, what do you call this blush this week was pretty much just the buxom wanderlust blush in Mykonos if you ever tried this if not you should these are great these are primer infused so they just they I find they stay put on the skin a little bit longer especially if you have oily skin these are worth checking out also check out Dolly and then for my eyes um, lots of questions about what's on my eyes lately um, I've been using these L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows I'm trying to use what I have left in my drugstore eye collection a little bit more these I don't even know if they still make these anymore this is quite old this is the bronzed taupe right yep bronze taupe um, yeah I just I put that on my lid and that's that's it that's what I've had in my eyes <laughs> for most of this week um, yeah, I really love these. Um, I don't purchase from L'Oreal anymore because they're not cruelty free, but um, what I have left in my collection, I'll still use. Um, I always like these pressed pigments. I just use them with my finger. And then on my lips. So what I've really been loving is this uh, Wander Beauty uh, Beach Balm in the shade Soul. I think I talked about this last week and then I realized, oh frick, it's like discontinued, sorry. So this week, um, I was also kind of playing with some of my other lip products that I have trying to find a dupe 
that is currently available that I can suggest to you guys that's just really pretty for the summer. This is the Tarte Sea, sea Jelly Glaze, Jelly Glaze, Anytime Lip Mask um, in the shade uh, Strawberry Jelly. This is so pretty. I just have a little sample guide. This came with some other Tarte products, but anyway, I would totally get the full size of this. It has, this has more pink in it. This one's a little bit more coral, um, but very, very similar effect on the lips. And I just really kind of like that jelly, kind of see-through, fun, corally pink lip situation right now. Um, by the way, if you missed it, uh, I had some bright lips on earlier this week. I'll link that video down below. These are actually quite good. They stay put really well. These are the new Vice Bond liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay. I did a wear test with these. Um, I'll link that video down below. And uh, yeah, I don't love the colors they sent. I don't want to be ungrateful, but I, they were just really tough colors for me to pull off. The pink was the most wearable, so that's what I wore in the video. Um, but I want the red. The Unbreakable shade I think would be really, really beautiful, and it's a really comfortable liquid lipstick. Highly recommend checking those out if you're into that type of lip product that needs to like wear throughout many, many hours. I don't really need a lipstick to last that long. I like changing it up, but yeah, anyway, those are, if you need a long wear lipstick for like a wedding day, check that out. All right, you guys, that is everything for today. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Um, check out the description box down below for all the links. Give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you know. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.